Mm. Hey. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Does that fit your macros? Well, let's find out. What up, everyone? It's my day off, so I am making another video. Um, today, we're talking about macros. Um, so what exactly are macros? Macros are your carbohydrates, your proteins, and your fats. Um, and for each amount, there's a set amount of calories set to it. So both the protein and the carbohydrates, for one gram of each, it takes four calories. And then for one gram of fat, that would equal out to be nine calories. So when you're, when you're figuring up your, your diet and your calories, that's kind of how it's based. So if you take in 20 grams of carbs, you're going to be taking in 80 calories, um, just as an example. But that's kind of how that works. Um, when I started out, I never really knew what macros were. I always heard people talk about it. So that's basically the definition of what it is, is your carbs, your fats, and your proteins. It's what a lot of people base their diet on. Um, so along with that, to be short, um, there are healthy and unhealthy fats. So your healthy fats are going to be your polysaturated and your monosaturated fats, while your unhealthy are your saturated and your trans fat. At all costs, you want to avoid trans fats. Trans fats are not good and they're very hard to digest for your body. And saturated fats, um, they're acceptable. You can, you can limit them, but you have to be very careful on how many you take in. And if you can, just try to eliminate them at all costs. If you're really trying to lower your body fat percentage, uh, try to eliminate them um, and get them out of your diet. So along with that, um, there's also carbohydrates that are healthier than others. Um, in terms of healthier, they're just easier to digest and they're more nutritious. So as an example, this is why people would say eat brown rice over white rice. It's just because they're, it's more nutritious for you and you can get more out of it. Um, so now pretty much how should you apply this to your life? Um, the first step I would want to say is to think about your body type. So there's three different body types. There is ectomorph, endomorph, and mesomorph. So your ectomorphs, they're more of your very skinny, um, they're, they're long and lean and they, they have a difficult time building uh, body mass. And then your, your endomorphs are your kind of your pear shaped people where they're, they're heavier set. It takes a lot more time to burn the fat and, and it's just harder for them to lose fat and they kind of can keep it on their sides a little bit more often. And then mesomorph, they're muscular, they're well built, um, they have a higher metabolism. Uh, these are people who are generally accepted as athletes, uh, just natural gifted athletes with really well-built well bodies. Um, but these different body types can determine on what you're going to uh, determine on what diet you're going to take, along with what exercises and workouts you're going to try to target. Um, different, different body types can uh, be affected by different workouts, and along with that, there's some some workouts that are better for others. So for endomorph, you're gonna be wanting to run more long distance uh, just to start off to, to lose the weight while your mesomorph, they can just pretty much go right into, into lifting. Um, but your ectomorph's gonna have to be taking in a lot, a lot of calories just to build up mass if they're wanting to do that. But it's all determined on your end goal. So really, I'm just kind of giving you a brief introduction of what macros are and how to apply them and what to look for. So obviously I, I do want you to do your own research just so you can get a feel of this information. Um, everything I've looked up was from online, but uh, I just wanted to give a brief video on what macros were, how to apply them and what it's going to be like once you, once you start looking into this. Um, but other than that, that's all I have for you. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section. Uh, like and subscribe if you like this video. I can go more into depth with this for another video if you'd like. I won't do it until later down the road. Um, but if you have any questions, please let me know. So thank you for watching.
in case you all were wondering what kind of ice cream I was eating, I was taking in Ben & Jerry's Peanut Butter Fudge Core Ice Cream. I usually only take this in on special occasions. Uh, most of my cheat days are actually with wings or Halo Top ice cream, but this is for special occasions when I'm really, really craving some kind of sugary um, treat that I usually don't get, and this is really in a, once in a blue moon. But if you like peanut butter, uh, I would definitely recommend this once in a blue moon, maybe like once a month.